Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm not getting ready for anything special, I'm just going to be filming YouTube videos. So I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I've been using recently and some of the ones that I am trying to get myself to use so that I can review them. And this is the look for today. It is very simple um, and pretty much exactly what I normally wear but with different products. Oh, and I did some eyeshadow this time. Fancy! Not usually someone who does eyeshadow, but I am making an effort to try to use it more at the moment. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look and some random chit chat, then just keep watching. So I already have my base on, which is the Petty Petter Pearly Night Cushion. I have the shade Ivory, and I think I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, but obviously I'm doing this in advance, um, and I had forgotten to do the actual application for the video. So doing this again today, and I couldn't talk through it because for obvious reasons it's for another review. But I do love the cushion, um, especially the casing, but my casing doesn't close, which is very annoying, so I can't really travel with it. I'm not doing any concealer today because I'm still like doing the review for the base so I'm going to move straight on to blusher and I'm going to use the Petty Petta Velvet Blushes and this is in the shade Soft Lavender. I think I've used about two shades of these so far and they're really cute um, but sometimes they do pull the foundation off underneath so I've been trying to figure out the best way to apply them without actually like removing the coverage underneath. This is a really pretty purple shade. I don't know if you guys can see it very much because the exposure is high, but it's very cute. Since I'm using a Petty Petter cushion underneath, it does work quite well with Petty Petter products, but I do find that sometimes like, I have to change fingers. So I've been using my middle finger to apply it, um, but if I change fingers to another one, it doesn't seem to pick up as much of the foundation underneath. Now I'm going to set my skin with my favourite, which is the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder. This stuff is actually the best for my skin. I don't know why my skin likes it so much, but it just works really well. My skin doesn't crease, I don't get any excess oil production with the majority of the foundations. If a foundation is pretty, to be honest, useless with their oil control, then it won't stop it entirely, but it definitely does help. I get a lot of creasing um, underneath my eyes because I do have pretty prominent wrinkles underneath here because I've got such chubby eyes so I really make sure that I work in some of this powder because it'll stop it from creasing throughout the day. I'm going to do a light dusting through my t-zone because that's where I get the oiliest and then with any remaining I'm just going to pat that over my cheeks because my cheeks do get a little dry but I'm going to put some of the Itchy House of V-Line Slim over the rest of my face so I do need to powder it just a little bit. Today I'm going to be doing my brows with my Etude House Contouring Kit Eyebrow and I'm going to be using the darker shade here. Lately I've been having a lot of like Instagram online stores stealing my work and it's starting to really get on my nerves. Of course I create this content for you guys. I do a lot of swatches and I swatch almost always the entire collection of things. So when a company wants to sell them or has them listed in their store already, what they do is they take my swatches, edit out my watermarks because they are, and then repost them, which is just so, and oh my god, I messed it up so bad. <laughs> anyway, it is just downright rude, um, and they're making money off of something that I created, which is so annoying. Like, I don't want to sell you guys the products, that's not why I make the photos. And, in all honesty, a lot of, like, the actual promotion photos look better than what I produce because they're in, like, really good quality settings and they edit the life out of the photos anyway, so why don't you guys just steal them? So I've been on a mad copyright rampage as of late. Because if you are a creator and someone steals your work and it has a watermark on it and you can prove that it's your photo, then you can get that through copyright. And Instagram or Facebook will force them to remove it or they will remove it for you. It's kind of an irritating process and it's a little bit scary because it's like a legal document. But if you made it, then that is your work. So yes, it is copyrighted to you. I'm actually going to do some eyeshadow for once in my life. So I'm going to use either this palette or the other one. Okay, I might actually go for this palette today. I'm going to use the lighter color all over my lid. And I'm not using primer because 
my but yeah I found a store yesterday that had used one image of mine 43 times over the past five weeks so I had to comment on every single post that was mine that they had stolen and tell them that it's my photo I didn't give you permission to use it take it down or I'll have it taken down which is so time consuming it's just so time consuming I'm gonna take this little brown shade here and put that through my crease but yeah that has been my annoyance of the week I don't know what it is about New Year's but apparently all of the stores have been like New Year New Me I'm gonna steal everything from other bloggers and I am not here for it and honestly a lot of them are just like arm swatches and like product photos if you're selling them and you have them, then just write them off and use them yourself and swatch it yourself. Or, I don't know, use the company ones that come provided. So freaking annoying. I'm trying my best with eyeshadow at the moment because I am honestly just not that good at it. I don't know why. I'm just... It's never been something that I've been necessarily talented at, ever. So... Yeah, I'm going to be reviewing these Etude House palettes at the end of the month and I'm hoping that nobody complains about my eyeshadow skills or lack thereof because I'm sure y'all all know everybody has been a beginner before and you make mistakes and you learn and you grow but generally you don't put it on YouTube for everybody else to look at but I have had an increase of requests for eyeshadow reviews so I have been trying my hardest to practice this just doesn't look right a lot of the time though I either feel like I go too high or not high enough and I end up with like really closed and looking eyes I'm gonna use the little pink sparkle shade all over my lid and I'm only gonna be using a little light layer of this because I don't want it to be too intense it's like a really pretty mauvey color though I really enjoy warm toned or like pink shadows. I think they're my favourites. I think I need a little bit of this underneath the eye. I don't know what I'm doing. And now I'm going to be using my Dolly Wink liquid eyeliner for my eyeliner. And this is going to be extremely boring because I really don't want to mess it up because I don't want to have to move the eyeshadow. So I'm going to cut straight out of this. <laughs> Like, not the best eyeliner that I've ever done, but also definitely not the worst. I'm going to curl my lashes because that's always ideal. I don't think relying on a mascara to curl your lashes for you is always going to work out in your favour. I'm actually going to use my Petty Petta Ink Kalakara Volume um, in the Navy for my lashes today. I've actually really been enjoying this mascara. I didn't think I would at all. I was like, oh, another Korean beauty mascara that is either going to go in the bin or be donated to one of my family members. But it's actually pretty nice. It's not really like elongating or um, volumizing, but I have a fair amount of eyelashes as it is. So those sort of aspects I'm not that fussed on, but it's really smudge free. This is actually a really nice mascara for lower lashes as well. And then I'm going to be using one of the two of the V-Line Slim Makers from Etude House. And the review for this I think is up next week. And I forgot to take photos of one of them. But I don't know which one. And I'm going to use my Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush for the bronzing part because... I don't know. Works really well. I don't mind these little duos, but I do find that the bronzer is a little warm tone to me and the highlights are a little intense it's crazy oh I should have taken a photo of my skin beforehand shoot I don't know what I'm gonna do about that <laughs> that's the problem with the before and afters if you do on one a different day you have to have a different before what do you think and then I'm just gonna use the brush that I used to do my um, powder to do the highlight today because I'm lazy and I don't want to make another brush dirty very light application for today but we'll see how we do I might bronze it up for the photos afterwards <laughs> we'll see oh. 
All right, so the last thing to do is lips. And I'm gonna go with Pico Zero One from the Chateau Labiot Wine Lip Tints. This is my favorite at the moment. It's like a really pretty dusty rose shade. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit of this. So really sheerly, I say as I apply a ton of it. I really should have exfoliated my lips beforehand. As they are a little chunky. So gross. And then I'm just gonna make a tiny little gradient by using RD01 from the same range, just like in the center. Let's see how that goes. Oh, they taste awful. Can barely even say that in real life. Oh well, I tried. So that is today's look. I've forgotten to put my contact lenses in. Damn it! Um, so this is today's look for filming YouTube videos. And I'll put some contact lenses in, in a minute. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me for just uh, about an hour of filming YouTube videos. And then I'm probably going to be doing some lip swatches for the Pitty Pitty Cloud Ink Velvets. But... Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below and I'll make sure that I do more of them. I can't promise that they're going to be more interesting than this, but I'll definitely use different products. So there's that. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching anyway, and I will see you next time. Bye.